morning to all the students. Welcome to Global Online. Now here we are back with our NTA UGC Net Paper 1 preparation for 2022 batch. And this is our lecture 5 for people development and environment. As I said, uh, from this particular unit, we will, uh, as, uh, as informed to you all, that we will be even starting the small concept lectures wherein, you know, these concepts will help you to uh, clear your uh, papers and make the topics very clear to you. So the same thing we are going to start with this particular uh, unit. So today and tomorrow you will be having this conceptual lectures. And uh, you can uh, see this uh, particular concept, understand it and prepare yourself well for your upcoming examination. Now let's understand that before we go ahead. Uh, let's quickly have a look uh, at Global Online. Definitely, uh, a spare, I mean, it's a channel for your paper one preparation uh, to make sure that your paper one will give you a target which is required for clearing your examination. Uh, in this particular uh, coming week, that is from 5th of May, we are going to start with a new batch. That is a new batch for paper one with new unit with new things wherein we'll be having daily live lectures, we'll be having notes on all the topics, last 10 year question papers will also be available. Test series will be available, uh, which will be covering 2,500 questions plus MCQs. Uh, that is more than 2,500, uh, almost 2,500 questions, which you can also get with the help of a global online app where you can see, this is an icon, you can download it from the Google Play Store and you can start learning uh, the things. WhatsApp number is also available in case if you're having any doubts or any concern, you can get in touch with us with the help of WhatsApp number. Now, uh, we every day we have, uh, like for example, we have this uh, on based on every topic, like for today, the topic is uh, people development and environment. So you can go for that particular topic. There is a concept that is evaluation test. And in evaluation test, you can see, you know, the test. So today, the uh, number for the test will be that is people development and environment so today this test number will be 003 so after the lecture you can please go to this particular test and you can see that you know the test you can attempt the test just to understand how the topics are so now let's start uh, let's start the session for the day before we start a session a announcement regarding a uh, crash course which is going to come up with the in the coming week definitely by tomorrow you will be coming to know that which on which particular date is the research crash course uh, that is research aptitude crash course is available so it is basically the 90 minutes class wherein you will be uh, recalling yourself with you know the all the details uh, with respect to teach uh, research aptitude so this particular unit as you are aware that the unit is for, for unit will be consisting of five questions where the total number of marks will be 10 and let's quickly have a look at the sub points of the syllabus where it consists of development and environment human and environment interaction we have environmental issues we have impact of pollutants natural and energy sources natural uh, hazards and disasters environmental protection act okay and out of this environmental protection act we have taken the first point today that is the action plan on climate change so there are definitely questions seen on this so let's quickly have a look at this particular national action plan on climate change so first of all uh national action plan on climate change is a plan which was uh, launched on 30th of June 2008. So this is also important for date wise. They may give you in the form of mass the following also. So you should know the dates very well. Now, <clears throat> this uh, National Action Plan on Climate Change, they have eight missions. So this is also one of the question, how many missions are there? This question has been already asked in uh, one of the cycles. So you should know, but still there are totally how many missions? There are eight missions. So the object of this mission, or you can say the object of this national action plan is basically promoting the understanding of climate change, adaption, mitigation, energy efficiency, and natural resources con conservation. So this is one of the objective till then there, till now there is no question on the objective but you have to keep in mind because uh, statement questions can come so you can have this particular point also whether to uh, say that the statement is right or wrong so this particular question cannot be a part of your uh, you know question also what is the objective of national action plan on climate change 
not only understanding the climate, adapting mitigation uh, strategies, you can say energy efficiency and natural resource conservation. So Prime Minister Council on Climate Change in, is in charge of National Action Plan. Uh, this is also, there was also a question on this. So you should also remember who is in charge of it. So it is Prime Minister's Council for National Action Plan. Now let's see eight missions one by one and let's have them, let's understand them in detail. So the first mission is National Solar Mission, which was launched on 11th of Jan 2010, basically to promote the use of solar power. So it was launched by uh, Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission. It was launched as, sorry, it was launched as Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission. This can be another name. You should be again aware of this. As I said, this conceptual class is only talking about one topic. So now you have to be very, very, very uh, clear with the topics, uh, with this particular topic. So it will help you any form of question coming out of this topic. You should be able to crack it. So the first, uh, it is National Solar Mission. This is the first mission, which is also called as Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission which has been revised twice since 2010. The mission has launched with a target of producing 20,000 megawatts of solar power in three phases. That is 2010-13, 2013-17, and 2017-22. In 22, it was you know, 100 gigawatts. So that is also you have to keep in mind uh, that uh, this particular uh, mission what was the mission called as, what are the targets and what are the uh, phases? So this, this can be a part of a question. Next mission is National Mission for Enhanced Energy Efficiency, which was approved in 2009. And it is, it is from Energy Conservation Act 2001. Okay, so now this particular mission has four components. So you may get a question on, you know, what are the components of this particular mission? So the components are perform, achieve, and trade. That is PAT. It is called as PAT. Then you have energy efficiency financing platform. Then market transformation for energy efficiency. That is MTEE. And framework for energy efficiency economic development. So these are the four components. Till now, there is no question on this. But as I said, you know, we can, we definitely, the things are going in bit detail in this examination. So you should be aware of some important things which are a part of the, uh, you know, topic. So first we did was the solar mission. We understood what a solar mission called as, okay. Then we, uh, then we did what is the, what is the uh, next mission that is energy efficiency. What exactly it is developed with the help of which act. Okay. And then we will, uh, I mean to say, uh, what exactly are the components? So we have seen this. Then we have national mission on sustainable habitat, which is approved in 2011. Now, this mission is an umbrella program to reduce the energy consumption and hence the risks of climate change due to the urban settlement pattern. So the energy consumption risks has been taken care by this particular mission, or you can say that it is taken care under this particular mission. Uh, hence the risk, I mean to say the challenge of climate change, you know, due to urban settlement is under control. Next one we have is the national water mission. Now the water mission not only promotes this traditional water conservation system, but it also pro uh, promotes the implementation of multi-purpose water project. So it has a target of increasing water efficiency by 20%. So this is, you know, the target F, the target of a water mission, mission, sorry, national water mission was a, having a target of using the efficiency or to increase the efficiency by 20%. Then next we have is National Mission for Sustaining the Himalayan Ecosystem, which is approved in 2014. Now, this particular Himalayan system mission was launched in June 2010. Uh, the greenest part of India is most vulnerable to climate change along with uh, the certain places like, for example, Chhattisgarh in central India, Jharkhand, Mizoram, Odisha, Assam, Bihar, Arunachal Pradesh, West Bengal, all are the eastern part of the country are the eight most vulnerable states. Now here you can you can expect two questions under this ecosystem. One is which are the vulnerable states? So there are totally eight vulnerable states which are given over here. Apart from this, there are states which are covered under, you know, which are covered under Him Himalayan ecosystem. 
are where we have come totally we have 11 states and two union territories that is you know himachal pradesh uttarakhand sikkim arunachal pradesh nagaland mizoram manipur tripura meghalaya assam west bengal jammu kashmir and ladakh so you this also you know the states which are covered and the states which are vulnerable so there can be two questions which are expected from this so you should be able to understand these questions are very important so you should be keeping a tap on these questions okay now the next mission that is mission number six it talks about the national mission for green india which is approved in 2014. so now in green india which was launched in 2014 the primary aim is to protect to restore to enhance india's diminishing forest cover so this uh, was undertaken by the ministry of now there is a quite there was a question on this also ministry of environment forest and climate change Okay, it talks about what afforestation, uh, which is which are the activities which are carried out uh, under the centrally sponsored scheme. Now here there are few targets which you have to keep in mind uh, to increase the forest cover to five million hectares. That is MHA. The short form of million hectares is MHA. Now this is not only to cover but to improve the quality also of another five hundred five sorry five million hectares. Either it is a forest or a non forest land. Then dense forest, uh, moderately dense forest cover, but degradation is 1.5 million hectares. Eco restoration degraded open forest is 3 million hectares. Restoration of grassland is 0 0.4 and wetland is 0 0.10. Now, as such, there are no deep questions yet on this. There was only one question regarding the ministry and the forest cover. But you can expect, you know, if in case if they are going a little bit interior, such questions can be expected. Okay, now we have next two missions that is National Mission for Sustainable agriculture as well as strategic knowledge we will see that also so now the next is national mission for sustainable uh, agriculture that is which was approved in 2010 now here to make agriculture uh, the aim is to make agriculture more productive sustainable remunerative that is you are gaining out of it cli and climate resilient by promoting location specific integrated or com composite farming system so basically sustainable agriculture it is you know it helps in promotion of this to conserve natural forests through appropriate soil and moisture moisture conservation measures this is also one of the target the national mission on strategic knowledge for climate uh, is approved in 2017 that is the last mission so now the started it is one of the yes one of the eight uh, missions under national plan for climate change and it is aimed at networking existing knowledge institutions capacity building and improving understanding of key climate processes and climate tricks so this is basically you know uh, every climate if you see i mean to say every mission sorry if you see every mission has something to speak about so basically if you want first slide i didn't read the missions but in this first slide i have just given you the gist of every mission especially with an approval year which is which was given and in inter internally you can see all the missions you know what is the speciality and no doubt there are questions on interior part of the missions but some of the questions or some of the areas are not covered and that, that i have covered in this particular topic so that it helps you it is a small video which will not take you much time to listen or hear but remember one thing you have to ensure that once you watch this video once you read the content you need to prepare some handy notes and keep this topic ready so you have one topic of you know uh, this particular and that is unit people develop and environment is done and it is done fully now the reason is that why the reason why i have started with this particular topic is as i said that some stu some some students have shown up you know have came up with uh, their fear factor for this, this particular unit stating that this unit has much factual things yes very correct this unit is not giving the uh, type of motivation to go ahead with so it is uh, it will be our efforts that we will come up with small small topics we will come up with mcqs also from monday to thursday and after covering it you know with a good amount of efforts which requires your cooperation also and then we will do it we'll be doing the maha marathon for this particular unit otherwise just doing maha marathon and you know just uh, doing the questions without any conceptual knowledge is not going to work out so let's let's first prepare it very well 
uh, topic wise concepts wise and then we can go for a maha marathon and this will give you at least 80 to 90 percent of the confidence okay that this unit is you know is easier for you but once or twice more of revision will make it more easier fine so that's all in this particular topic as i said i will be taking only national action plan for climate change uh, now, as you are aware that Global Online also has paper to not only management, but commerce, economics, computer science also. For paper two, the fees is rupees 7,000, which with which paper one is completely free. If you have any doubts or any concerns with paper two, or you want to join our course, you can please get in touch with the uh, channel with the WhatsApp number and it will be, the doubts will be cleared. And after the watching this video, go on the app and PDE, that is, you know, your people development and environment 003 test you please see uh, that will be really helpful for you okay thank you everyone